sun was glaring hard finally packed up and ready to head out first trip with the Explorer this should be fun dogs are packed Jenna's ready I think finally <laughs> I had to work. ready to go Have one of these use it it's an emergency brake for if the trailer detaches if the chains come loose the hitch comes loose then make sure you press this all the way down and then put your pin in so it doesn't come undone on its own With this you just attach to somewhere on the back not on your chain it defeats the purpose we made it to the campground and uh gotta get some wood already got a bucket five dollars so i'm gonna get some uh kindling some small pieces just so i can help start that fire especially because it's been raining all week hopefully it didn't rain up here as bad as it did down there oh she looks so pretty What's up, girls? So that's the first casualty of the trip. The brackets that I had ripped going down the highway. That one came off. The weight was supported by the trailer, luckily, because that one didn't break off. But I had some straps inside the trailer and I used them. What's up? Good morning. It was our first morning. Camp was uh for me at least, did not go as well. Jenna says she got some good sleep. Let's to get some coffee real quick. Yeah, pale horse coffee. English toffee, I haven't had the English toffee yet. I've had the, uh, a few of their other ones, but not the English toffee. I'm using this drip from uh, REI. Had 20 bucks off out of 100 so I used it um, on some different things yeah, I used it for that use it for this little $30 um, cookware set so Jenna's over there cutting up potatoes I'm getting the uh, skillets hot with the fire I got this little thing from the thrift store. So disabled American veterans. They have thrift stores in uh, Virginia Beach and Chesapeake. I got it for three bucks. Heat up the water. What's up? Are we and doing that, the whole onion? Why, uh, yeah, sure. Get that going. Okay. Potatoes, onions, garlic that Jenna chopped up. That coffee's pretty good. It's really hot. <laughs> Straight black coffee. Pancakes too. They're done. Not bad, not bad. Hot dogs and baked beans, some corn, and uh, we got 
Yeah, chips. They want chips. Look at these. Jenna just went to the bathroom. She's watching her. She's finally passed out. Hot dogs, some chopped onions, some chopped cilantro. Ooh, that's hot. <laughs> look at her, look at her. Y'all, it's so difficult. I made this little pulley system. They can go back and forth. So Belle's on that one and Storm's on that one. But Belle needs to be it's... close to the food. <laughs> Got hot dogs, some uh, green onions and cilantro, corn, baked beans in here. Baked beans cooking up nice. She was being... I don't even know what. She got herself turned around. I made this pulley system so they can go back and forth. That one's finally passed out. But now I'm just uh, getting the corn. Where's the salt and pepper? You see you want it salt and pepper or just salt? Salt and pepper in a sprig of rosemary. A how much is a sprig exactly? Like a pull thing, pull it off. You don't have to pull them off the thing. Just toss it in. And uh, I'm not sure we have enough rosemary. That's you. <laughs> you picked it. Hey, if y'all love rosemary, just plant a plant. Just plant one plant. Just, just put one plant. It'll survive forever. Just throw that in there. And it'll just, <laughs> it's like mint. It just survives forever. It just doesn't, doesn't die. It just stays there and becomes your friend. But don't try to put anything else around it though, cause it'll, it's like mint. If you've grown mint, then you know. If you haven't, rosemary doesn't really take over like mint, but it, it grows. And then it doesn't die in the winter. It just stays. Oh wait, you don't want to put them too tight. You gotta let it breathe a little bit. Don't, don't twist it too tight. Oh, I need to leave some room for that. Yeah, I think that rosemary gives a nice aroma and taste. So it's a good add. How is it? Mm. How are the baked beans? They're made from scratch. You know what I should have done? I should have uh, added bacon, like crisp with some bacon. I thought you were. Oh, nope. Only if you can do it. Come on if you want. <laughs> God, you're such a princess. So I'm gonna give you a quick rundown of the refrigerator. It is Dometic fridge, fridge slash freezer. It came with the camper, obviously. Not obviously, some of them come with uh, coolers, but uh, it's not a bank commercial. Got some pre-made or pre-mixed uh, pancake mix that I made before we left. Eggs, because breakfast, was some of Jenna's uh, co-workers got her this before she left. But uh, it fits a lot in here. I got hot dogs, green onions. I separated them. This is from the garden, so I don't bag them up. But asparagus, which we're going to eat in a little bit for dinner. I got... Hey, do you want bell peppers also or just that? All right. Well, I got, bell, I got the little tiny bell peppers you like. I got those. We got bell peppers, tomatoes, onions. Some cinnamon rolls for dessert. We'll make those on the stick. A salad, some bacon. Probably packed a little bit too much food. Some butter. Actually, I'm gonna need this for the steak. Oranges. Dang, it fits a lot in here. Did I already say I probably packed too much stuff? Biscuits. I was gonna make biscuits. 
Some things I just brought because I wanted to try to make different things. I don't know since we're out here. But uh, steak New York strip that we're going to have today for dinner. And uh, some patties that I mixed up. Seasoned up before we left. But uh, look at this. It fits a lot in here. Cafe Aula. <laughs> Straight from Japan. Special delivery. Some syrup for our pancakes that we had this morning. Uh, what it? Condiments. So ketchup, V8, because, you know, we gotta eat the veggies. Drink the veggies. And that's about it. Salt, butter, and some rosemary. Yeah, you can do whatever you want to your steak. Oh, we just do the salt and pepper. Okay, you're gonna make sure your skillet is uh, hot enough. I'm not gonna say a skillet can get too hot, but you gotta make sure it's hot enough. Because if it's not hot enough, everything's gonna stick. And then don't move the steak uh, until it freely moves. So like, right there it's kind of sticking. You gotta wait. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna try the unconventional cinnamon roll. I saw a video. Forgot the dude's channel, but I'll link him in the description. He has a bunch of different uh, quick little recipes, or 10 recipes, and he has desserts. Hey, 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 don't hey. roll it. Huh? Leave it rolled and just skewer through the, the sides. Okay, there you go. You gotta be careful because it's probably gonna puff up, isn't it? Yeah, it's gonna puff up. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know what's about to happen. This is not how he did them, but. But, I don't know, they might drip like you said. So Jenna brought up a good point that I'm pretty sure the guy in the video does is he rolls it. He takes them out of the thing, rolls them, and then puts them on here. Oh man, it's dripping off. I wasn't really planning on having a cinnamon roll tonight. <laughs> All right, so obviously Jenna doesn't have the best ideas when it comes to cinnamon rolls. Bitch. <laughs> All right, so that's gonna slip off. We're just gonna, I'm just gonna put them in foil and hope for the best. Did you rewatch the vid before we came out here? No, why would I rewatch something? That's like reading the instructions. Exactly. All right, so uh, attempt number one failed. What, 50% of it is uh, non-edible? So it, it would have it would have been good if I took it out earlier, but I guess the fire was too hot. Yeah, this one's not. So this is what we're left with. It was supposed to make four, but uh, you know, you get what you get. <laughs> Quick chew high without the carbonation. Some soju, definitely Asian Mart. And then uh, I got the lychee. I like it better when it's carbonated. You can just put your own portions, and it's a uh, chew high. It is Sunday morning. Decided to take one of the trails. They love being out here. Yeah, she's getting all the smells. Storm, what's up? Hey, where's Belle? Where's Belle? Go get her. Where is she? Go find her. Storm the destroyer of sticks. Good girls. Oh yeah, let's just we can go that way. Campground site 66129.27, and then we'll just loop back around. Okay. Here's a, here's a little friend we've been meeting all through this uh, state park. We're at Pocahontas State Park, so 
Pretty certain that's a Lone Star Tick. Sound two on me so far. Hopefully it didn't pass anything to me, but I'm gonna have to kill this one. I think this is why Storm secretly hates me. I call it firewood. She calls it toys. All right, Belle. Oh, you too, you want some too? Hey, I need it for the fire. <laughs> we only do gourmet meals around here. <laughs> Hot dogs, avocado, some uh, tomato and green onions. What you got? Beanie weenie. Beanie weenies. And she uh, chopped up some, or cut up some potatoes and onions. Yeah, and some baked beans for me. Attempt number two, I'm making cinnamon rolls. We're gonna do, <laughs> just being a, you know. We're gonna do, uh, put them in a pan and cover them with foil. And then see what happens. No well, better than yesterday. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> ten, times, ten times better. Whoa. That was uh, almost a party time. Mmm. Yeah. What? That's good. Yeah, that, that came out perfect. And it's got a little bit of a crust. Yeah. Yeah, definitely came out better the second time. <laughs> Jenna's idea worked. Mmm. I'm gonna try biscuits next. Biscuits should go in the cast iron skillet. Yeah, with some butter and some foil over it. Yeah. Yep. Hope you enjoy.